Hi, my name is Kim, and I am a mother of an 18-month-old. I'm a wife and a Beachbody coach. I decided originally to become a Beachbody coach um, about 10 months ago for my own weight loss journey. I had gained about 100 pounds due to some stressors in my life after my son was born, and I needed a way to stay accountable. I also love Shakeology, so I decided, hey, it's a great chance to have a discount on something as well as, as, well as to hold myself accountable. Originally, when I decided to be a coach, that was kind of all that I had in the back of my head. And, um, you know, I've in the past 10 months, I've been able to lose 64 of that 100 pounds. So the accountability piece definitely worked, um, but but I've also been able to find something that I truly love to do. So as a coach, originally I decided to create a fitness page. Previously, I loved fitness prior to having my son. So I created a fitness page and I invited everybody that I knew. I I posted about my goals. I posted about kind of where I was and where I was planning on going. And slowly, um, people got more and more interested in what I was doing. And, and I started to help people and really enjoy helping people while I was helping myself. So as my business grew... Uh, just sort of organically, I realized, okay, this is really what I want to do. And so uh, what Beachbody's really enabled me to do is do something that I love and also spend more time with my son and be a stay-at-home mom with my son. So I wanted to just go a little bit over what my day looks like as more of a full-time coach. I wouldn't say that I put in 40 hours. So when I use full-time, it's just this is my full-time um, way of making money and contributing to my family. So I decided to go full-time and actually really dedicate time to um, really growing my business about two months ago. I made the decision about five months ago, but about two months ago, really started going in all in. Notice that I did actually, um, you know, I haven't replaced a full-time salary yet, but I, I did notice significant difference in what I was pulling in when I decided to focus more time on it and more, um, more attention to building the business aspect. So a little bit about my days. When I decided to go into this full force, I realized that I needed to set some structure to my week and uh, also be able to have that time with my son, which is really what I was looking for. So I have one big working day, if you will, out of the week. So on Wednesdays, my mother watches my son for a four-hour chunk. During that four-hour chunk, I get, um, you know, I do follow-up messages. I I connect with people. I do personal development. But that's really my time where I know I'm completely uninterrupted, and I know that it's four hours. So I'd say um, that's my one real like working day throughout the course of the week, and it's it's a four-hour chunk. It's the biggest chunk that I spend at any given time time on the um, coaching aspect. Now, throughout the week, I also do have other times that I focus on coaching. So um, it, here and there, as things hit me, I'll post them to my Facebook, similar to what you do on your personal wall. I do have a private page um, that I use for my business and just for helping motivate people and, and helping people live a healthy lifestyle. So throughout the day, I'll, I'll post things here and there. Um, also, if I'm in the car, if we're going to a play group or um, if I'm going to a class with my son, I'll pop in something in the um, CD player. My car still has a CD player. I don't know if cars still have them, but um, I listen to a book on tape. I um, listen to a professional development call, and I just um, really soak in everything that I can while I'm driving because you're driving anyway. So that doesn't take any extra time out of my day, and it's actually helped me in my fitness journey, my coaching journey, and just as a person in general to listen to that stuff. So I feel fortunate that coaching has sort of nudged me to be listening to things like that. Then throughout the um, the day, I do have a few set times during the week. It depends on the day of the week, um, but generally during my son's nap time, so from one to three, I fit in my workout right away. And that's important to me to get my workout done before I actually do um, my coaching work because for me, that sets me up for success um, just in terms of my energy, my excitement, my personal success. So I always fit my workout in first, and that's my me time. After my workout... I sit down at my computer, again, follow up with some messages. It's a little easier to do some stuff on my computer. So when my son's napping, that's the perfect time to do that. When he wakes up, I go get him and we, we go on with our day. And so I get to spend the rest of the day with him. So again, between one and three, most days, probably about four days out of the week, one to three is when I do that um, during his nap time. Then 
about six to seven other nights in the week after he goes to bed, seven o'clock, so it's pretty early. After he goes to bed, I sit and I do some more work. Um, again, just following up with people. Some of it's reading books. It's all stuff that I love to do. So I do a little bit more work at the end of the day. I always make sure that I have time, though, to spend with my husband. So that was something that was really important. You know, he does a lot of work too, so we've got to balance each other's schedules, but I make sure that I have time at the end of the day to spend with my husband. So we, we watch a show or we play a game or um, actually food prep is kind of big in, our, big in our house. So on Sundays, we'll do like a grand food prep together. So it's kind of, I call it like food prep date night. So we always make sure that we have time for us. So, so sometimes, you know, if we're spending several hours in the kitchen doing food prep on Sunday nights, I won't necessarily do um, beach body coaching work on a Sunday night, but generally on the weekends, it's a little easier for me to um, sneak in some working hours because my husband's home and he likes to spend some time with my son. Um, so other than that, I mean, it's pretty much, I found what works in my schedule and I just slot it in there, but it was important for me just to come up with a plan when I decided that I wanted to do this at a, um, a bigger capacity and really grow my business, but it's, it has made a huge difference and it hasn't taken that much time out of my day and it still enabled me to be um, essentially a stay-at-home mom and spend every waking hour with my son just enjoying our time together. So a few other things I wanted to share with you are just some of my favorite quotes from some um, some people that I've coached just over the past couple months. I wish I had collected these sooner, but I didn't think to. So I'm just going to read off here. Um, the first one, I'm so inspired by you and so glad that our paths have crossed. I'm not sure I'd even be trying to lose weight right now if I hadn't spoken to you and I will keep going one day at a time. Thank you for being an inspiration. The second one, keep up the great work for yourself, your son, and all of us that you inspire every day with every post, every quote, every inspirational message, and a total honest before and after look. And I, one thing that's huge for me, again, in my own accountability has been sharing my photos and sharing the truths, the good, the bad, and the ugly. And that's really what people connect to. And that's really what makes me love doing this and, and has held me accountable in that 64 pound weight loss so far. The third one here. Hi, Kim. I look forward to your posts every day. I'm just four pounds shy of my goal. And then the, the last one that I have is Thank you, Kim, for your support. You're such a great coach. So I just, I can't say enough about how much I actually love coaching aside from the business aspect. And I'm finding that when I do what I love, I'm successful. So, um, so that's sort of my spiel, spiel, spiel. I don't know how to say it. Anyway, speech for the day. But, um, but just, I, can't say enough about how much I love this business and the opportunity is there if you want it. Um, but if you want to just do it to, um, to have as a hobby or enjoy the discount, it's still well worth it. And, um, and you know, if you have any questions, feel free to post, uh, underneath here, or you can message me, you can friend me. I am happy to answer anything that you may have. So Kim Chapman McIntosh, that's my name, um, on Facebook, which you know from this post, but feel free to friend me or message me privately if you have any additional questions. Thanks.